I'm Lester Holt, and this is Dateline. Tiger King was one of the most bingeable shows ever, but it ended with more questions than answers about its star Joe Exotic and the mystery of the missing millionaire. I think a first grader could, could look at Don's signature and determine that that's a trace, and that makes it invalid. Enter attorney John Phillips, representing Don Lewis' former assistant, Ann McQueen. Now that Tiger King's come out, they realize they have an opportunity maybe 23 years later to, to, to solve a crime or at least figure out what happened. Seizing on that opportunity, Don's daughters raised a lot of money and are offering it to anyone who can help solve the case. This is a publicized $100,000 uh, reward. Is it going to matter? I don't know. Uh, but every little thing will help because somebody out there knows what happened to Don Lewis. Phillips says one of those people might be, no surprise, Carol Baskin. He named her in a legal maneuver called a bill of discovery. It is purely a lawsuit to discover facts, not for damages, not for an arrest. It's just to dive deeper into what happened. Carol has emphatically denied the allegations against her, and she has her own lawyer. So has Carol's full-throated defense silenced her critics? Not even a little. In fact, Ann McQueen recently filed a defamation lawsuit, saying Carol's YouTube channel and website have countless statements falsely accusing Ann of theft, fraud, or involvement with Don Lewis's death. Carol's attorney has challenged the suit on substantive and procedural grounds. Have these latest legal maneuvers against her forced Carol to lay low? Well, the answer to that came a few weeks ago with her appearance on Dancing with the Stars. Dancing to Eye of the Tiger. And while Carol danced, $100,000 reward. Don Lewis's daughters wanted to remind people what this is all about for them. His family deserves answers. They deserve justice. They made a commercial and bought time on a Tampa station during Carol's star turn on the dance floor. Don's daughters say all they've ever wanted is to know what happened to their father. You think we're ever going to know? I do. There's a lot of people out there looking for the answers now. So we have hope. The questions they've raised about Don Lewis aren't going away. Here's what else isn't going away. This new world we now live in. It's a place where truth and facts often finish second to what you think you know, what you want to believe, or what you've been told. And these days, if you get on the wrong side of the cultural herd, you might want to think about hiring a publicist or a lawyer. That's all for now. I'm Lester Holt. Thanks for joining us.